We're connected using six SOPAs to an LMS 511 Pro version scanner. Our current login is at the operator level, which means that we don't have write privileges. So the next thing we need to do is to log in as an authorized client and enter the password, which is lowercase client. As soon as we do so, on the southwest corner of SOPAs, it indicates that we're at the authorized client level, which means we have right privileges to make changes to the configuration of the scanner. Now we expand the project tree. And we're going to choose basic settings. The scanner is currently set at 100 hertz, and its angular resolution is at 0 0.6667 degrees. It has a scan range from minus 5 degrees to 185 degrees. We're now going to create a teaching reference contour field. So we select field. New is available. So we select new. The default name for the first field is field 1. We're going to change that to lane 1. And then we're going to center the scanner in our field of view. We're going to look at our teach-in options and select teach-in reference contour. The default FOV of the scanner is from 185 degrees down to minus 5 degrees. So our first angle changes from minus 5 to 72 and from 185 to 110. Our positive distance goes from 100 to 200. We push our start teach in button. We stop now and then we close and then we finish. And the overview field screen indicates that lane one has been created. Now that we have created a field called lane one, now we have to evaluate what causes an infringement for that particular field. So we vector over to evaluation case. We select new. We point to the field that we created, which is lane one. Since this is a reference contour field, we select our strategy contour. And response time is a bit too slow vehicles so we're going to speed that up from 500 milliseconds to 50 milliseconds response time the blanking size is correct obstruction protection is turned on which is normal and we rename evaluation case one as evaluation case lane one After we evaluate the conditions, we want to enunciate that condition, so we're going to enunciate it to output number 1. And now we're finished. And our overview evaluation case screen indicates that evaluation case lane 1 has been created. So we created a field which is called lane 1 an evaluation case for lane one which evaluates when an infringement occurs such as a vehicle moving across the scanner's field of view. To determine how well it works we move over to the monitor section and select field evaluation monitor. We center the scanner on our screen. The scanner is bonded overhead above lane one peering down towards the road surface, which is the blue trace. The starting angle is at 72 degrees. The ending angle is 110 degrees, which represents lane one's width. If we zoom in, the road surface is indicated by the blue trace, which is the laser beam. This is the negative area which is 100 millimeters wide. It's beyond the road surface into the dirt. And the positive tolerance 
is 200 millimeters wide. Any object that's within 200 millimeters in height will not be detected. So objects that are higher than 200 millimeters, like in this area right over here, will be detected and flagged as an infringement. Now we'll zoom auto so that we're zooming out. Center the, the scanner's field of view. And now we're going to demonstrate a passage of a vehicle that's occupying lane one. It's first vehicle, vehicle number two, vehicle number three, vehicle number four. A look at output one. There's four vehicles that's been tallied. Now let's save the settings that we made so far. So parameters save permanently.